MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the National League Division Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Well, here's a little comparison of these two teams. Looking at it earlier, to me, the story is all about the pitching. Both squads have some good arms, and the team that gets the best outings are probably going to come out on top. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Thomas Helland will do the pitching in front of the hometown crowd here in game one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, when you look up the definition of rock solid for a starting pitcher, this is your kind of guy. Career ERA under three, just knows how to get it done, controls the running game, limits the amount of damage, and more importantly, he knows how to win, and that's why it's going to be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Let's go now, one time. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep into the pool area and gone. So it's a two-run shot to right center. His first homer so far in the series. And Arizona moves out in front now two to nothing. People always wonder why some players make so much money, and there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason, and he did right there. That is it. The third base, Cody. Cody. Pulled high in the air out to left field. James is there and he makes the catch for the out. Digging in, Eddie James. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Hey, Matty, an interesting sequence in that last at bat when he hit a home run. First pitch breaking ball when he hit that towering long drive home run. We'll see if they attack him more with fastballs in this at bat. Come on, come on, Base come on, come hit on. into right go center. Hard, hard. And this will get to the wall out near the pool area. And the runner will score from second. And the run will score all the way from first. It's six to one. You simply cannot offer up a pitch like this to a hitter of this guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. Digging in for his second at bat, Josh Naylor, runner in scoring position with Sukhan. Runners on his way to third, on the ground to the right side. And not too shabby out of the pen. Takes just two pitches to get the ground ball, and that ends the inning. I think a few of these folks need to get out of the sun. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Digging in and looking for more. Eddie James already a home run and a double for him in this one. 
Here comes the first pitch. Line toward right center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Now batting. The first base. Stepping up to the plate, Josh Naylor. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. And the runner's breaking for third. Grounded back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. And next will be the Dodgers' cleanup hitter, J.J. Vlade. The right fielder. Three runs, six hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. In the air now, out to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Dodgers down in order. Still way back, it's 9-3. to three. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Big city for Los Angeles. Number 68. Terry. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Palucci is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Dodgers strand a couple. Still way back. It's 9-3. to three. What? And up next will be Kelbert Ruiz. Two outs again? and two runners okay. aboard here in the seventh yeah. inning. Arson Arson over at second. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't say so. First with two down. Yeah. You say I kept calling again, I kept calling again. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Dodgers strand a couple. Still way back, it's 9-3. to three. Ready once again, Eddie James. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. He's ready. Here's the first offering. High and deep to straightaway right. Right fielder looking up to the track, to the wall. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game, as this is now a seven-run ball game. for the Dodgers, Cody Hosey. He'll start us off in the eighth. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. He's set. Here's the 0-1. And he popped him up. And that's in there. Base hit. So the Dodgers get their leadoff hitter on base to kick off the inning. Somebody's going to be icing their thumbs after this. Number 21, John Corey. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. James is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. This one pretty well in the bag. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. It's the Diamondbacks 10 and the Dodgers 3. Standing in a perfect four for four so far, Eddie James. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five-hit performance here. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Shoots this one over to first. And he tries to get to the backhand, but it gets on by. One run is scored. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. 
I thought this was getting ugly when they scored double digits in runs, but they tack on a couple more here to make it an even dozen. You're going to win about 99% of the games when you score 12 runs. Simple as that. Stepping in, Josh Naylor, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Runner goes. Oh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And a leap, but it's fired right over his head. And the second run will score as well. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game. It extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Well, I tell you, those are always big, those add-on insurance ones. Big RBI right there. A little bit more breathing room. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail-biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. Well, this one pretty much over before it started as we give you a final look at the line score here in what turned out to be a blowout victory. Well, heroes are made in the postseason, and he was at least the hero in this one. He's our top player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big difference for your team, it's something that won't be forgotten. The final score in this one, Arizona jump out to a 1-0 series lead. Thomas Helland is credited with the win. John Duplantier struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Time of the ball game.